So I welcome every single one of us. Let's um, start by committing our business to God. We pray and heavily anticipate. First of all, we thank God for everything. We appreciate God and we pray that um, everything we're doing here today will mark um, a great achievement for us, not just in our business, but in our lives in general. And also, my prayer is also that um, God gives me the capacity to deliver this in the best way possible. And more importantly, that you listening to me, you're able to appreciate it and understand it probably better than the way I try to put it. Please, can we say amen to you? Amen. Uh, for today, um, it's a very, very important. It's a record, right? Yes. Yeah, good. So it's very, very important that I do this. Now, um, when I came back, when we came back from Nairobi, we have about 51 of us that traveled. We have about 51 of us that travel. But let me put this, let me just put a screen shared. Is this slide? Now, we have about 51 of us that traveled to Nairobi. That was the delegates, and then we came back. We had a uh, so many fat then there we had a lot of uh, amazing experiences uh, like i shared but i when i came back i was uh, kind of overwhelmed i just wanted to um, find a means to really kind of uh, put the informations together and uh, deliver it but as god will have it if god made it easy for me and the president called for what do you call that? The cell leaders, the cell leaders summit, right? Good. And that's all the summit was not. In fact, it's like it was even meant for me personally. You know, it was like a work um, body relieved of me. And I was so glad I was happy. And happy not just because of the cell leaders summit, but because <laughs> um, let me put it this way, and uh, very apologetic to say that um, we because the, the, maybe the criteria was not so clear for us, or for many leaders rather, um, because strictly I only invited my emerging leaders, who I expected to be cell leaders, but um, you know, some people were sneaked in, I think we can remember, right? Some people sneaked in that we don't qualify for the meeting. But I think it was still good, all right? If you attended the meeting and you appreciated it and it um, inspired you, and you are not uh, you know, derailed, then it means um, it's a good one for you. So I was happy. But while every, I missed everything that was going on, starting from the Nairobi trip, the Kenya trip, the uh, going and coming by the grace of God, and then we had the Saudi Dance Summit. In fact, the anniversary, I think there was an anniversary, right? Beautiful, the anniversary, that's the 10th year anniversary of the mother company in Goa. And then down to the Saudi Dance Summit. Now you see me back to back. In fact, even down to the mastermind's uh, emergency, general emergency meeting. I think he did that. Uh, when was that? Was it? Yes. I think they were, uh, two nights ago, right? Yes, he did that. Please, how many of us were not in that meeting? Please, not those that were, please, if you were in the meeting, no need to indicate. Please, those that were not in the meeting, please feel free to indicate uh, so that I will know if there is need for me to lay a foundation or preamble before. I move into the top top of today. If everybody was in the meeting, then I'll just move on and go straight to the business of the day. Okay, please, if you know you are not in that meeting, the meeting of the mastermind at night, it was strictly on Zoom. Um, when did the meeting start? Eight o'clock, right? Yeah, it was scheduled for eight o'clock. We'll start about past eight. But please, if you are not in the meeting, those on Zoom, if you are not in the meeting, please just write no. All right, just write no on the chat box. All right, so that I'll be sure you're not. Please, can, can somebody raise his hand if you're not in the meeting? You didn't attend it. Well, that's quite a number. Okay, um, I'll give, I'll lay a preamble just to give you an idea. It's important then, so that I don't, um, I was supposed, this was supposed to be a build upon on, on that meeting. And I already put some few points together, which I'll be sharing. But I thought about, like I said, for people that are not in the meeting, it means they will not appreciate it. In fact, they will be totally lost, all right? But um, I, I I'll do this. Let, let me start by telling us this, please. Make it a point of uh, duty, a point of uh, um, kind of duty, responsibility for you, for yourself, 
that the WhatsApp group, you know, we have a WhatsApp group, and that's where things are communicated, isn't it? Right? I'm sure some of you, have, if you know you were called by your leader to be here, you were called. Please, can I see your hand? At least your leader reminded you. Please, can I see your hand? Please, please be honest with your leader, okay? If your leader reminded you, right? Okay, okay, good. Now, the, the reality is, as leaders, of course, leaders will always do that. They will always remind some persons and all that, which is good. But, and that's what one of the things that makes them leaders. All right, but what makes you a leader is to get to a level where you don't need to be reminded. I didn't remind everybody. Did I remind you? I didn't remind you. Did I call you? Where is accountant? He's in his office. Did I call? I didn't. If he's here, I didn't call him. Mr. Ahmed, I didn't call him. Many of the people, you understand. I didn't. Of course, we know that the, the structure is um, it's being redefined. It's being um, re, there's a restructuring going on. That's true. When I use the word leader, I'm not talking about the approved leadership. Of C2 energy. I'm talking about that personality that you have. You might not even have a single team member, but you're already <coughs> having that sense of responsibility of leadership. It helps greatly in this business. I tell people that if you are still in this business and you make a lot of excuses and for not doing what you're supposed to do, or you wait for everything to be done, everything to be done for you, your leader has to pamper you to join meetings, who will keep watching you. And that's the essence of the restructuring ongoing. Okay, please let's all get to that level. 381 um, Champions team, um, unstoppable family of champions. Um, our team is really, really blessed with lots of in quote full timers, with lots of committed people, lots of dedicated people. And it's a very, very great one. Some of you will not appreciate this until you start interacting, even with other persons, even from other teams. I'm proud to. I'm happy to really tell you this. Please, can we all give, please give yourself a round of applause, all right? Those on Zoom, you can, you can do an emoji clap, all right? You can do an emoji clap. Now, while the restructuring was going on, I was so glad. One of the things that makes me very happy, it was more like, for many people, like starting afresh. But for me, I didn't see it as really, really starting afresh. I saw it as like a plus. It was a huge body lifted off me, lifted off even most of the leaders in my team, all right? And I will start from the foundation, so that some of you can understand that. and I'll give some of the basic uh, information. Of course, we won't be able to finish it today, obviously. But like I said yesterday, I think I mentioned it yesterday during the summer meeting that uh, we'll be having, um, we'll make it, we'll do a continuation on Monday, isn't it? So automatically just ensure that even if we don't finish today, on Monday, we'll definitely exhaust it, okay? And if there's a meeting announced by the mastermind, which I expect for Monday, it means what you just simply need to do, prepare your mind for when? Tuesday. So it means you join the meeting on Monday with the mastermind, most likely maybe at 8 o'clock in the morning, or as the case may be, then you prepare for Tuesday so that we'll ramp this up. Okay? That is it. So the restructuring is good. And I want us all to see from a positive perspective, there's a reason for it, and it's great. For 381 um, EA in quotes, you know what I mean by in quotes, right? You know, the restructure is ongoing. It's not that code. <laughs> Is it's it just like a borrowed code for now? We're just using it in the meantime. But the positive side of it is, is it's not a thing of starting totally afresh for people who understand it. All right, that's the essence of me laying this so that you know where to pick it up from and pick it up correctly, and then you can be at advantage. The challenge I had in, when I came up in Nairobi was how to put information together so that I can deliver it well that will help people appreciate it to the best. Of its essence, but I think the body is already relieved, and I'm really, really so happy with the kind of leadership we have in C2 Energy. Now, um, going straight, the, the, there is a restructuring currently ongoing, and there is an essence of it. Now, the vision remember the vision of C2 Energy. I'm sure we all know the vision, right? What is the vision of C2 Energy? Please just wait, we'll read it together. Because some people will read, some people is like uh, they will read the goals. This is better. Shift this out. Okay. I love to leave this so that I can be observing the chats. Okay. So the vision of C21FG is please let's take note of this. I'm only running through this very briefly so I can give us what is most important to do. This is just for the benefit of those that missed it. Always be as much as possible, most of the time. Be on your WhatsApp, be active on WhatsApp. That should be your best social media platform. Hello? Hi. Please, that should be your best social media platform. I know there are other social media platforms like uh, Facebook, right? 
you know, WhatsApp is under Facebook. Instagram is also under, uh, they're all under Meta, right? Um, which are that one again, TikTok, Twitter, and all that. But please make WhatsApp your favorite, your best. In fact, it should be naturally your best social media app. And for me, it is. All right. At least I've subscribed to a couple of other social media, but if you check for those of you who know, I'm hardly active in most other social media group. WhatsApp is the main. The reason is because that's where um, you know, most of my business activity. So the idea is be active on WhatsApp, it will help you greatly. Being active here does not mean always be there all the time and all that. But be very cautious to know that, okay, let me check and see what is the next message. What is the next thing? All right? And I wake up in the morning once I've done my prayer and everything. And I set, set it down. I'll just go to my WhatsApp and check to see what are the messages that I've dropped overnight. Please, are we together? Hello? Please, please think very well. I check in the morning. If I need to pass out any information, I pass out. Now, if... Um, what I do for me is time to time, at, at intervals, almost, it, it's part and parcel of me almost subconsciously, at intervals, my, I'll just check my WhatsApp. Just the way I open, how many times you access your phone in a day? For as many times you access your phone in a day, let it be that you access at least, check, check on your WhatsApp. You belong to at least one group, all right? Check on that group, you know what is happening, all right? When you see a message, if you make it that point where you call your leader and ask your leader, I just saw a message, oh, am I, should I be part of it? It means you are even asking your leader, it's like you are reminding your leader, your leader forgot to remind you. That's a beautiful one. It helps you, it will help you greatly. This is very, very good for you and it makes it easier for your leader. Now, um, there are many persons who try to manage data, all right? In quotes, I say try to what? Manage data. But I've checked it very well. You know, by offering the data, you know, when, they, when you off the data, they feed their managing data. I don't know, does that really work? It, it doesn't, it doesn't really manage the data. When you off your WhatsApp, so that that time you off it, yes, it's true, messages are not coming in, you are deprived of messages. But when you on it, does it differentiate the data that you're supposed to use? Does it make any difference? No. I think the message that will still enter will still enter. I want the data is exhausted, is exhausted. All right. So many people thought that, uh, no, let me off my data. All right. Someone said, let me off it so that um, my data will not go on time. The truth is, I, I, that's not it. Those notifications are already handy. I have five messages have been sent to you. <laughs> it's already there waiting to deliver. If your data is on, it delivers instantly. If your data is off, it will wait for you. Anytime you on the data, if each of the messages will take five kilobytes, it means five messages will take 25 kilobytes. Abi, anytime you on the data, will it take less than 25 kilobytes? Yeah. It will still take how many kilobytes? It's still 25. So it will still take it. So the idea of the data, managing data does not really apply. If a person says, oh, because I have low battery, ah, that's a different thing because when you, you know, the data is on, it's kind of, um, you know, um, makes other, other, makes some other app wrong. And that might make, you know, challenge the phone and all that and make the battery go down. But if that's the issue, it's understandable. But it means as much as you access your phone, access your WhatsApp, check in so that you lessen the need for you to be reminded and so that you can follow through. All right, please, do we get that, right? Good. So let's move in. Now, the vision of C2 and FG, please take note. And this is the essence of the restructuring. It's already explained by the mastermind. Is to raise financially free people who will in turn raise other financially free people. All right? Not just raising people who are financially free, who are multi millionaires but the essence is the ultimate essence is to see that these people can come together, put their finances together because they have one heart, one heart, one voice, one speech, one language. All right. And because of that, they can put their resources together and affect the world in a positive manner. We already have a lot of amazing projects, like you are aware, some good projects under the umbrella of C2 Energy run by a couple of leaders. For example, which one? Happy the family project. Which other one do you know? Okay. We care project and all that. All these amazing projects are good. The feed the family project to feed the less privileged, which we do at some point in time of the year. We have we care where we you know go to the hospital, you know, and support people, you know, and all that. All these things are good, all right. And the essence, this is the primary. These are the, the, the root essence why we're pushing this. So once the vision is understood, it means it's clear, and you, you see the need to run with it. Now, you can only, there are, there are stages of a life of a man 
Now, I'm about four core stages. I think the first one is um, survival stage. Is it right? Survival stage. The second one is what? Security. Please, I want you to understand it. Survival. The second one is what? Security stage. The third one is what? Success stage. And the fourth one is what? Significant. Now, you see the people in security and survivor, the first two stages, they don't think about impacting their world. It's not in their dictionary many times. A man that is struggling to feed is not thinking about feeding the community. Did you get what I'm saying? So the essence of raising financially free people is to get people out of survival state. It will interest you to know that well, the vast majority of Nigerians shuttle between survival and security. If the vast majority, a good number of them are trying to survive. Are we together? Is the truth? Are, are trying to survive? They are struggling to survive, and well, an appreciable number. Well, uh, security. Those ones that have that job where they feel. You know. But the truth about it is this: people who always think about impacting their world are people who, at least, have reached a level of success. And more of them will be from those that have reached a level of wealth, that are pursuing significance, all right? Because after success, then you are pursuing significance. So that's the essence of it. So raising financially free persons, the person that is financially free, in quote, is massively successful. Massively successful financially. And it means he's not thinking about where the next meal will come from. He's not thinking about how will I provide for my family. You see that? When that, that thought clouds your mind too much, I would like, even those people that are working and earning from various forms of jobs or skill and all that, they work so hard and what they are thinking, in fact, what clouds, that has clouded the mind so much that how do I provide for the family? Where will the next money come so that we'll buy maybe at least three mugs of rice and keep at home? At least that will take us for the next two days. That when such thought is clouding your mind or clouding anybody's mind, would that person be thinking of going to Gogolana Specialist Hospital or Sunnidan Hospital? One. To go and pay people's hospital bills. Yeah. He's even thinking, even his child is sick, he's thinking of buying anti malaria is a problem. That's survival. So people like that don't think about impacting the society because you don't have it and you can't give what you don't have. So this is the essence raising not people who are just rich, but people who are financially free. So the goal is what? Freedom. Please, somebody say freedom. freedom. The goal is not just to make money, but the goal is freedom. Please understand it. And if the goal was just to make money, Please, I'm, I'm dwelling on this so that you can catch the essence of this restructuring. I always tell you that to make arrangements in the office. I, I don't like the flow being disturbed. If you intended coming, are you having network challenge? Okay, please follow me, okay? Now, if the goal was to make money, there's no need for this restructuring. Trust me. If the goal was to make money, there is no need for this restructuring. The goal is not to make, make just make money. The goal is for the leaders to raise people who are financially free so that they can help people because they've attained it. Because you can't give what you don't have. Because you have it, then you can give it out. We are together, say hi. hi. Please follow carefully. So the goal is not just money, but what? The goal is what? Freedom. Freedom. Even if you are working and making whatever amount of money, if it means that anytime you stop doing that thing, the money stops, you are not free. You are not financially free. If it means that, like for me as a doctor, I was working and earning, but anytime that salary goes, anytime I stop working, the company sacks me off, or I retire, or I resign, whatever, it means the money will stop. It means on that job, I am not free. Yes, I'm making money, I'm getting the daily bread, and providing for my family. It just takes just one little misfortune to crash the whole thing. And I might even run becoming a beggar. So it means there is no freedom. The goal here, is freedom, all right? And that's the essence of the restructuring. When, when I go into details and when I start telling you exactly what to do, you can appreciate because of what the way the vision is. So you want to get freedom so that you can, you know, have the opportunity to impact. Some people are making a lot of money, but they don't even have the time to even impact. The money is there, they're making, but because of what they do to make money. Hmm. In fact, many times, <laughs> in fact, they, they are totally sold. So it's still a problem. They have quite a good amount of money, but the problem is no freedom. And because of that, they can't even pursue anything of significance. All right? So remember the essence is making money and then affecting the world positively. And that's the essence of the restructuring. Other than this, if the goal was to make money, the leaders are already making money. I think. The business pays me millions monthly. 
The business pays lots of leaders in millions. Some of them, it pays them in above tens of millions of naira monthly, maybe over 10 million, 15 million. I hope you are aware of that. Some of them are making as much as that in the business already. They've been making it even for the past more than a year now. For 12 months, there are some leaders that have not made anything less than 10 million naira in this business in a month. But if the goal was just to make money, please, there's no need to restructure. They're already making the money. The goal is what you're seeing on the screen, to raise the people who are financially free. There are people who have been in this business for many years, two years, one year, two, three years. That's quite a significant time as far as network marketing is concerned. In the civil service, in your place of work, even if you spend 10 years, it's like you are still stuck. 10 years is where you just like your first decade ahead. But here, 10 years is like the time you should be thinking of even, <laughs> it's like the time of thinking of, is it, it's like a retirement age in network marketing. Please take it. Doing network marketing for 10 years is like almost getting to your retirement. Did you get it? In civil service, what's the, what's the, this thing? Maybe 35, 20, 40, or something like that. You do when you run your business. But 10 years in network marketing, I mean, you're already an eight figure income earner. It's expected. All right. So the idea is when I say many years, if you've been in this business for two years, that's many years. Three years, that's many years. That's many years. All right. That is it. Now, the essence of this, they are defining this. You see, it's been redefined for the next 10 years. All right. The idea is if you follow this structure that is being laid down, it's expected by 10 years from now. You should hang, in fact, you're already thinking of hanging boots. Start thinking of other things that are important. Uh, you know what is hanging boots? Huh? You're surprised to hear that from me. Huh? You know what is hanging boots? Huh? You're thinking of hanging boots, all right? You'll be like a you're You are impacting, you are on a level of significance. You're not thinking of prospecting. 10 years from now, you're not thinking of connecting anybody. Even people will come and beg, please let me connect under you. Uh, no problem, you can come. Then when they connect, you just look for one man down, 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 down there. One of your teammates, one of your downline. Maybe you know him there, maybe three years ago, and he's a very good guy. So come, there's this guy, you hand them over. Did you get the logic? That's because what you are up to then is significant. That's it. All right. And of course, we are partnering with a new division, which is um, the new division of what AIM Global, our mother company, right? I'm sure we know the new division, right? Yes. What is the new division? Yes. The real estate. Please, I'm happy to officially announce to you, those of you that were in the anniversary, you must have seen it already. The mother company has also diverged into real estate. Yes, that's the beauty of it. Real estate. All right. If time permits, I'll play the video. I don't know if I should even do that now. Let me look for that video. <laughs> Somebody say yes, sir. Uh, please. Let me. I'll have to search it on YouTube because I didn't download it. But uh, so let me share. Oh, sorry. Let me share screen. So we're pioneering, we are the one, now get it. We're pioneering the real estate division in as far as the company is concerned. Let me open this. Let me, so this is, uh, let me just put AIM Global. I didn't prepare for this, but I'll still do it. Oh, sorry, I, I needed it on YouTube, not browser. Okay. Now, primarily in the real estate division, the real estate is where you have the opportunity to not only own your own home, but you can give, okay, I think I just searched that recently. It's not only, they don't only give you the opportunity to own your own home, but also give other people the opportunities to own their own home. All right, and you can even sell the homes and you can make stupendous income from, from it. Okay, please, I want you to listen to this carefully. Please. Please, those on the economy. I hope it is sharing sound. Let me be sure. Okay, good. Now, this is the new aspect the company is diverging into now. It's huge, it's big. And that is why you must take this with utmost seriousness. All right. I hope you know people do, people go on civil service, they spend 40 years on their job. They are struggling to build a house. I hope you know there are many like that. I didn't say home. They are struggling to build a what? Yes. I hope you know there's house and home are two different things. Yes. Uh -huh. Good. People stay 35 years on their job, 40 years. After 40 years, they are 60, they are still struggling to. In fact, some of them that try their best, they build a house. I hope you know. 
Some are not able to build the house. <laughs> but here, the idea is, of course, even where you end up you a house, you are referring to what? Oh, please understand it. Please. Yeah. And when As Nigerians' economy begins to stabilize and with its increasing demand for real estate, get your green house! Let me say that the time has come for M Global Nigeria to enter a new and thriving market. Sell better homes! Our new real estate division is off to a promising future, and this with all the parts of the marketing plans of M Global Nigeria. Build residual income! Building affordable homes in a faster, more efficient ways. I am Somebody give a round of applause for some less opportunity. Now, they didn't just do this so that you understand for two it. years, a secret army of federal... No, no, no. I think we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that one, okay? So, now, the essence of that's the essence because, you know, the leaders are always brainstorming. Now, the, the simple essence of this restructuring is so that many people can actually be eligible. Be eligible for this real estate. With the way many people are pushing their business, doing their business, they are putting in a lot of effort. There are lots of people putting in a lot of efforts, but because their foundation, the foundation of their business is not, in quote, permit me to use the word, is not adequate. It's not, it's not good. It's not, it's not adequate enough. They don't stand the chance of making good money in the business. They don't stand the chance of qualifying for this, for anything that looks like this, all right? So this is the essence all right, because we're pioneering it. So you must do everything it takes to qualify for it. All right, that is it. And that's the essence of the instruction so that you can get your foundation right. And then you can actually, um, you know, stand better chance um, for this. The, we're building leaders who are going to take charge of the great real estate space and the online fiscal franchising using the network marketing industry. So it's an amazing one. In fact, let me even tell you the truth. Hello. You see those your friends that you are trying to connect in this business that are telling you, I mean, if you have experience that you are trying to connect somebody, the person is telling you, man, man, please, 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 please. I don't, uh, no, I, I, it's not my, I called somebody on phone, he told me, no, 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 if it is, all be, no, don't worry, I'm not interested. Don't, don't even bother yourself. Just calm down. Please tell your neighbor, calm down. Calm down. Uh, because they, they are the one very soon, they'll, start, they'll be applying, so they'll make life. That's that's the area. That's the direction. We'll make line, and it's not a thing of guess. It's reality because when we're in Nairobi, go and verify this. Kenyans are not, uh, you know, in Nigeria. Is in Nigeria you try to use systems, all these systems, 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 systems to connect someone mm -hmm. another. You put in a lot of systems because you know Nigerians. I hope I'm not held accountable for this. You know, Nigerians will have this kind of nature that that makes everybody afraid. Everybody is afraid of everybody. You do get what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, we've gotten to that level. Everybody, even your own brother, your own sister, if anything he tells you, you're taking it with a pinch of, of tomatoes. You know? <laughs> a pinch of atarudo. Because you are trying to be careful. You understand? But in Kenya, you don't even try to even come out, well, okay, uh, come and see. No, 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 no. I prospected someone. And I said, do you know about, because the person told me, he said, yeah, the, the, it's not about, the government even encourages it. The government promotes it, encourages it. No wonder the economy is doing well. And get that is they are doing far better. I must be honest. And then well, I asked the lady, I said, Do you know about networking? He said, Yeah, I know about networking. Are you are you in part of any company? He said, No, not yet. I said, Okay, so why? He said, Do you want to introduce me? <laughs> this is a security working in Windsor. A security. Do you want to introduce me to it? 
I said, yeah, of course, why not? I said, but are you coachable? Would you, would you be willing to learn, to learn the process? I said, why not? Then we exchanged number. He said, he said, then I said, okay, can we exchange number? He said, yeah, why not? Yes, then we exchanged number. That was it. The number is still in my phone. I was trying it in the reception just to verify what the president told me. I said, do you know about networking? He said, yeah, I know about networking. Do you belong to a company? Well, not yet. So I, and I said, why? Because I learned that in Kenya, they promoted a lot. Said, yeah, that's true, but um, maybe not my time yet. I said, wow. But I hope you know we came here because of networking. He said, uh, really? I said, yes. I said, okay, so do you want to introduce me to her? I said, yes. I said, okay. So are you coachable? He said, yes. Okay, I said, okay, let's exchange numbers. I'll give you the details later. And she exchanged numbers with you. If you, in Nigeria, if you say net, net, they don't even know whether it's fishing, whether it's fishing net, or whether it's a glow or network. Once they hear net, they don't even want to know whether it's working, networking, or whether it's fishing net or anything. They are shut down. You won't get anybody. That, that's the case. So that's why we are restructuring and redefining all these things. So understand it very, very, very different. So that for people don't see it from the positive perspective. Some people are saying, ah, I was a leader before. Ah, man, this restructure has made me not a leader. Even I'm so happy not to even be. Leader is, leadership is a body. Please understand it. All right? So to succeed in this business, your orientation has to change. You must learn to see things from the positive side. And as more importantly, you must understand the need to key into the vision. Every vision must hit its mark. Every vision that must hit its mark must be organized. And that's the essence of it. So that your business can be what? Your business can be what? Organized. So please understand it. If it's not organized, when you lack organization, you can't lead people. And that's the truth. To make a lot of money in this business, a lot of money, please. We didn't say to make money. We said to make what? A lot of money. What can you quantify? What would you term as a lot of money? In your, in your opinion, what do you mean by a lot of money? Yeah. Please call an amount for me. What would you call a lot of money? How much would you make in a month to call it a lot of money? Yeah. Anything 10 million naira you go is a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, but, but I hope you agree with me. Even, even 2 million naira is a lot of money. Yeah. 1 million is a lot of money, right? Yeah. If you want to start making, where well, you're talking about millions, 1 million naira is a lot of money as far as the Nigerian setting is concerned. Please take note. It's just that. When you go to when you compare your uh, currency to other currency, you know that one million naira <laughs> is nothing, especially when you rate it to the dollar. Is the truth. When I was traveling out, I just wanted some little pocket hand pocket money, and I changed the uh, seven how much seven hundred and something thousand naira. And you know how many papers they gave me? They gave me ten papers. <laughs> <Ten pieces. laughs> seven hundred and twenty something thousand naira. They just gave me ten pieces of paper. All right, and that's one thousand dollars. I just wanted it to hold in my pocket in case maybe. So, and it was ten pieces. Of, when I hold the money, please look at what I'm counting. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at what I was holding. Seven hundred and. It's one thousand dollars. All right. So it's a lot of money to you many times. So a million naira is just about how much? It's just, it's just about you convert it to dollar. All right. And in the place where we lodge, if you want to eat a good meal there, a good food there, um, it was um, it was valued at forty dollars. Forty dollars per meal. So a day you spend about one twenty dollars to eat a good food in the hotel. All right. That's the it's an outskirt hotel. So. That's about hundred and twenty dollars. I think that should be about how much? That was why hundred hundred and something thousand naira. Yes. Yes. Hundred and twenty dollars. No, 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 not a thousand dollars. It's not a thousand dollars. It's about about um, maybe a hundred thousand naira. If you want to eat a good food, so you go and eat. It's forty dollars per meal. So. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you opening your eyes? <laughs> I know some of you will say, ah, me, use it to something to go and eat a meal. I'll use it to buy a bag of rice in my house. That is why you need to emerge. That's why you need to pay attention to this structure. Please pay attention so that you stop seeing it is something. Every time you see it is something thousand, you'll be thinking of, how will I go and buy a bag of rice in my house? How will I buy this? Those things should be naturally taken care of, OK? Now, that's that. So if you want to make a lot of money in the business, you must be a what? If you want to make money in the business, it's not a must that you must be a full-time. You can always make money, whether part-time or full-time. 
if you're a very serious, a part-timer, but very, very serious, you can still make quite a lot of money, a lot of money. You can still make hundreds of thousands and even possibly millions of, maybe up to a million now, even as a part-timer. The only problem is sustaining it might be a problem. Hello? Sustaining it might be a problem. For a part-timer, you make a million now, making it consistently might be a problem. In fact, most times it's impossible, okay? So to make a lot of money, a million sustainably, two million, three million, four million, all right, it means you must be a full time. All right, so take note. If you're making, somebody say even 300k, <laughs> no problem. You can make a part time, and that's a target. All right, 300k is possible. Okay, 300k is a lot of money. Okay, well. all right, that's understandable. Now, uh, okay, now your team will graduate from being, please, okay, your team will graduate from just being a group to becoming an organization. All right, a group. It's not like uh, what do you call what do you call like village community town meeting where everybody is uh, arguing and everything. No, your team must graduate from that to be in an, what, an organization. To actually actualize that, you need to learn how to remove it from yourself. Of course, we're going to mention that point. If your business is not organized, nobody pays you reasonably. All right, please understand that. And these are the essence of the reason why we or the system or the structure is being redefined. Every organization must have a structure. All right. For you, your business to have an organization or to be an organization, you must have a structure. Every organization has the structure. Yeah. Yes, it does. Even in the government, they have structures. And the second one is called what? System, mode of operation. And the third one is called what? Process. All right? And um, these are the three things. Very, very important. That's the essence of it. So please understand it. Every business must have a functional organogram. All right? A functional organogram. So... Um, where there's no leadership, everything goes. Where there's no um, coordination, where there's no organization, then it becomes um, um, the kind of... It means if you're not building an organization of leaders, a, a leaders through an organization, it means you are building mafias. Somebody say mafias. Yes. Yeah, you know we have mafias in this business. Especially those ones that will eventually won't rebel. If you're not building leaders, then you're building mafias. As it, so make your business more of an organization so that you can build real... Um, competent leaders. Everyone must understand and grow through the laid down structure. This will help. The leaders are not bringing this in just to make it stringent and all that. Far from that, they're already making money. But the appreciation for me is imagine somebody already doing lots of money but still thinking about the people coming in. And I think it's a big one. So please understand that. So, and um, for 381 day, I don't see it as a, a big problem. We always know the need to follow leadership. All right? And um, in fact, cooperate with the leaders and ensure that we get the best. Now, let the business be more about the organization and less about you. Please take me. Don't personalize things. Everything that is here, I'm bringing this out wholesomely so that leaders will realize. Please, I've mentioned it um, in quotes. Former leader, former you leader, are they here? Is any former you leader here? I'm one of them. Who is the other one? Former you leader? Please make arrangements. You know what you're supposed to do. Please, let's always do it. Don't assume, make assumptions, make arrangement, proper arrangement, all right, so that people will not disturb the flow of the meeting, okay? Please, are we together? Good. Now, the C2NFG Achiever Structure, now there are two things. There's what we call the Achiever Structure, and then there's the Leadership Structure, all right? The most important one is the Leadership Structure, but the Achiever Structure is also very, very, very important, all right? The Achiever Structure is the structure is where you go to and how you are recognized. What makes you recognize? What level are you recognized for? All right. The achiever structure is a structure for what? For recognition. All right. Please take note of that. Now, the first achiever structure, please, I'll just run through this, but I will not talk about all of the leadership structure. I will only focus on the most important one. Even in the achiever structure, we'll talk about the most important ones. All right. The first one is called what? Activator. activator. The activator is anybody who connects at least two persons every month. All right? There are some persons who have been in this business for two months, they've even they've not connected even one single soul. If you're able to connect two persons in a month, it means you're at the level of an activator and you'll be recognized, trust. So it means at the end of the day, you just check your DTC. Did you personally sponsor? Did you personally connect two persons in your business? Once you actually did that, it means you are what? An activator, meaning you connected. We're not talking about codes. You know, code makes you and you know the EAP and all that. So you connected. If you connect up to two persons in a month, 
congratulations to you. It means you are what? An activist, and they are really, really recognized, all right? But that's the lowest level of recognition. So if you connect one person, are you recognized? No. Not really, because you might just connect one person, and it makes no difference. Okay, so once you connect two persons in a month, it means you are an activist. So at the end of this month, every single person that have connected at least two persons will see someone their name, at least, at least bad as it is, they will be recognized as activator. Now, please give yourself a round of applause in advance. For anybody here, and this is demanding, for anybody here who does not become an activator, please, I want to beg you, don't come to my office. Don't come and tell me, doctor, there's something very important I want to discuss with you. I don't want to see you. <laughs> what do you want to discuss with me? You didn't even activate. <laughs> Did you get it? I know some people always say, doctor, there's something personal. I have something personal I want to discuss with you. And I try to hear people out. All right, despite my schedule and despite the commitments and all that. But please, if you are not even celebrated as an activator at, on a worst case scenario this month, please don't tell me you have anything and you should go and sort your problem out first. All right? I hope that's enough motivation for us, right? Beautiful. It's an inspiration, right? Is it an inspiration? Yes. Beautiful. Now, the second level is a, is a what? Connector. Is it connector? Some of you are going to become connectors or celebrated as connectors at the end of this month. Initially, a connector is anybody that just connected to the business, but it's no longer like that. A connector now is somebody in the former um, in the former um, structure. A person that generates that is called is called what? A secondary, a secondary supervisor. All right. Now, currently, we call that person a what? A connector. So it's the same challenge that is six through the challenge that is six ranks. Mm -hmm. All right, but the idea is you generated 36 codes. That makes you a connector. So anybody that anyone that has generated 36 codes, not that not signing up 36 human beings, please. It doesn't mean that you must sign up 36 human beings. 36 what? Codes. A code is a pay potential of an account. A pay potential of an account implies the code of that account. If if uh, megaverse is how many codes, for example, megaverse is how many account? How many accounts? 31 accounts. But how many codes? 15 codes. Technoverse is how many accounts? Seven accounts. But how many codes? Three codes. Digiverse is how many accounts? But how many codes? Seven codes. We have uh, Neoverse. Neoverse is how many accounts? It's three, it's three accounts. But how many codes? One code. Triple pack is how many accounts? Three accounts. But how many codes? Three codes. Single student mini pack is how many accounts? One account. How many code? Wow. Entry versus how many account? Wow. How many code? Wow. We understand it, right? So that six code is what we're talking about, not just that six account. Once the person generates that six code in his team, automatically is a what? Is a connector. All right. So which is like in the former ranking is supervisor, the secondary supervisor. All right. So take note. So please, when you come in now, don't assume yourself to be a, a connector anymore. If you come in. For those that are in the business, you're a what a partner, all right? Please understand you get to understand that more. Anybody coming in is just a partner and you can grow up the ramp. So the idea is that this is good. And that this code is not just about generating that this code, it's about being in the challenge 36. Please understand it. In the challenge 36, there are criteria for you to qualify and be part of the challenge 36. Please do we understand that? So it means here the target of everybody ultimately on the achievers rank will be for many of us, for many people who are just starting the business, those of you that are still in the incubator room trying to do your SMO checklist on a worst case scenario, ensure that you are celebrated as a what? An activator. For those of you that have been in the business for a while, I will guide you on what it takes to be in Challenge 36. There are certain levels of leadership you must attain before you can run Challenge 36. Now, the idea is, People who partake in challenge 36, the first focus when you come into the business is to build your structure as fast as possible. Please remember I told you that for this session, it's about teaching you exactly what to do, right? Hello? It's about giving you the focus, right? Please take note. I'm not running and paraphrasing the training. It is the focus for family of champions, for our family, for our business, for our, our team. The focus. I don't want to talk about others. You want to become a connector. You see those millionaires, those people making a lot of money, those people making one million dollars sustainably and all that. Those are people that are what? Anything from connectors and above. You must enter challenge 36. So your goal is to enter challenge 36 so that you can rise up the rank. 
There is nobody currently in Challenge 36. The platform is collapsed. All right? It's an afresh thing in that wise. So meet the criteria to enter Challenge 36. Your goal, if you are able to join Challenge 36, oh, beautiful, amazing. But please take note, your goal is to quickly meet up with the structure that qualifies you for Challenge 36. I'll tell you what you need to do to be part of Challenge 36. Gone are those days where we just select key people. Or you select three people, you select three people, and you start working with them for Challenge 36. No, sir. No, ma'am. If you want to have three persons that will be in Challenge 36, get them to a particular position of leadership. Challenge 36 is for a particular level of leadership now, okay? Those are the people that eventually make the millions They're in Challenge 36 because they can grow their rank to becoming senior connector. A senior connector is a person that has personally sponsored two yes. connectors. And a connector is who? A person that generated at Cisco, which means the person is in challenge. Did you get it? So growing up the rank. Once you are a senior connector, like, let me give you an idea so that you should know the need to be in challenge 36. As a connector, there's no way you can be a connector. You people know about challenge 36 already, some of you. If you are a connector by based on this structure, if you are a connector, how much would you anticipate your income to be? On an average, at least, how much would you make becoming a connector? Pardon? About 200,000, about 200,000, 250,000. So becoming a connector, don't think it's a joke. With the structure on ground now, if you meet up the criteria, please, I'm talking about this one is in the formal structure. Please take note. In the formal structure, when you are a connector, a supervisor, right? A secondary supervisor, all right? You can make as much as over close to 200,000 naira to enter secondary, 100 and something, 200. But with the current structure, with the way it's structured because of the criteria before you can run Challenge 36, if you are a connector, you can't make anything less than 250,000 in a month. It's impossible. It's not, you are not, it's not a prayer point for you to make 250,000 in a month if you do the need for As a senior connector, it's not a prayer point for you to be making a minimum of at least 700,000. So it means for 500K, we talk about that, it's not a problem. As a senior connector, it's not a prayer point for you to make it's not a prayer point. You are, you are praying and hoping and praying to make like seven to eight hundred thousand naira. It's important. In fact, it's not even a prayer point to make a million naira. As a senior connect, most of the senior connectors will be doing over a million because they've not only generated at Cisco, but they've actually sponsored two persons who have generated at Cisco. The only reason why you might not make a million is maybe you didn't sponsor two persons. Maybe you sponsored one person that generated at Cisco meaning you sponsor the connector, and then you personally generated the Cisco. That can still put you in over 300, I mean, in over 700, 800,000. If it's well structured. Did you get what I'm saying now? So the idea is, if you are dreaming, if for somebody who said 300,000 is a big money, let me tell you all you just need to do. Meet up the criteria and enter Challenge 36. I will give you the criteria. It's in the leadership structure. Okay? So that's your ultimate goal, to enter Challenge 36 but there is a criteria for it, okay? You're growing up the rank in Challenge 36. A soaring connector is one that has qualified. A soaring connector is anyone who has personally sponsored five connectors, meaning five persons in your team that are generated at Cisco. Mm -hmm. At this point, it's impossible to be making anything less than three million naira in the business. 2.5 million, three million, it's impossible. It's not a prayer point. That is if you follow the current structure. In the formal structure, you can have, be, you can have up to five connectors, Five secondary supervisors, you can still be making maybe one point something, two point something. Million. But with the current DC, having five people, or let's say you even have four persons that you sponsor that you personally generated at Cisco, automatically you're a swearing connector. It is impossible. It's not a prayer point. You don't pray. Pardon? Of course, that's it. That we're coming to the criteria. Yes, that's the criteria. So not everybody runs it. The first thing is the first focus is focus on building your structure. The idea here is. I think some of you, how many of us use glow line here? So that you understand how this thing works. When last did you recharge your glow? Who recharged today or yesterday? Who recharged yesterday? You recharged yesterday, right? Has anybody recharged today? Not yet. But somebody recharged, how much did you recharge? 500 naira. Did you pray before you recharged? <laughs> you didn't pray. You just went and bought card and recharged it, right? The way you didn't pray to recharge, that's how my academic does not need to pray to make money. You know why? The prayer was in the building. He has already built glue. 
glory is already established. Did you get the tactic? You are not praying to make 2.5 million, 3 million, 3.5 million as a soaring connector. All right? Now, for me, I mean, for this, I'll read through the rest because for now, they are not important to you, but just to give you an idea of why you must do everything it takes to become a what? A connector. No, not a, so, a soaring waiting. <laughs> you never saw breast finish. You want chop, uh, you want chop corn. Oh, first thing first. Finish breast milk first. Hmm? Finish breast feeding. The, the, this is to give you an idea of why the need and the mandate for you to become a what? A connector. For you to enter into challenge. That's the essence of me giving you the achievement. All right? So everything we're doing is to get you qualified into challenge 36. All right? Now there's a C2 energy diamond uh, a member. Is the one, once you hit a, a connector for three consecutive, a swearing connector for three consecutive months, meaning you have a minimum of how many persons in, your, in, 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 in the secondary challenge? Meaning you're a swearing connector for three months, at least minimum of five persons, or four persons, but with you yourself generating up to what? That six code in addition, then it means you are a diamond member. All right, please take note, you're a diamond member. And most of these guys, I think they're the ones that have lapel pin, right? Today, I don't know, we'll check that, we'll confirm that. Now we have the elite connector. The elite connector is anyone that has sponsored up to nine connector. This is like based on the current structure. You know, the former we used to have one called the tertiary supervisor. And the tertiary supervisor used to be someone that has what? Sponsored about 12 secondary supervisors. But now it has been reduced to how many now? Nine. nine. Do you know why? Because with the current structure, restructuring, if you do nine, you can even be making more money than somebody that did 12 in the former structure. Yeah. If you do nine, you should be making eight figures. If you do nine, it will be difficult for you not to be making eight. If, if not eight figures, then you should be very close to it. Very, very close to it. Maybe seven million, maybe eight million. All right? That is it. If you will do eight, eight persons, you have eight persons in the structure proper, and then you have one, and you're able to generate a Cisco person, and then it means it still maintains that rank for you. Then we have, of course, if you, if you have a platinum member, so you have a diamond member, all right? A person that was a, a swearing connector for up to three months consecutively, a diamond member. But a person that was uh, an elite connector for three months consecutively becomes a what? A platinum member. All right? That is it. The Amazon, we'll talk about the Amazon. The Amazon is anybody that accumulated up to 500,000 Naira in this business. You started this business and you have made up to 500,000 Naira in total. You are an Amazon. Yeah. Total, not necessarily in a month. All right, cumulative, you have hit that mark of 500,000. You are what? An Amazon. All right. Whether in one month, whether, whether you started the business this month and made 500,000 this month, or whether you made it in three months, whether you made it in whatever number of months, you are an Amazon. Now, that is a female, please, a female, right? An Amazon ambassador is a person that makes um, a, a lady that needs 500K for how many months? So if you make it three consecutive months, you are Amazon ambassador. Now we have 4,500. It used to be, this is related to what we used to call power 500. All right, it is 4,500. It's the same thing. The 4,500 is a, a male that has hit 1 million now in a month. If you make, sorry, 500,000 a month. If you make 500,000 cumulatively for men, who, what do you call them? No. I mean, cumulatively, totally, what you've made, let's say you are in the business for six months, cumulatively, you made up a total of 500,000 naira. What do you call them? Nothing. Somebody say nothing. <laughs> for women, we call them Amazon. For men, they, what do they want to call you? There's nothing. They don't call you anything. You know, initially, it's one of the stepping criteria for imagining that, right? Yes. The restructuring of course, that doesn't work anymore, okay? So that, so that you get it right, so that you understand it very well. Then it's okay, once you've committed 500,000, and this, 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 you have up to social number of accounts, and you have this and blah, 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 imagine that. Now, now lie. For women, Amazon. For men, go and hustle. Somebody <laughs> tell the men, talk to any man beside you, tell him, go and hustle. <laughs> yeah, that is it. So that you don't uh, start thinking. Then the millionaire is the one who makes up to a million dollars in a month, all right? Once you make up to a million dollars in one month in the business, you are a monthly millionaire, all right? Um, two comma club, if you sustain it for three months, you are a two comma club member. Meaning you make one million dollars, you sustain it. And that's where the full timing comes in. All right? A part-timer can become a monthly millionaire. It, it's like a one-time hit. But the next month, it will drop down. 
You understand? But sustaining it. I mean, think about it. Anything that makes you as a part time and hit one million naira. Do you need any prophets to tell you to to leave the job you are doing? Which work are you doing? That you made one million naira in this business and you are still holding your job as if you understand the logic. The only thing that will keep there is fear. All right, that's what keeps people there. Fear, the thinking, and all that. So the two about club sustaining for three consecutive months, and this is where full time becomes important, so that you can focus more and amplify. Then the millionaire mentor is a person, of course. Uh, who is an active two club member, um, an active two club member um, um, that have raised the two comma club. And if you raise only this one person that is a two comma club, we've already talked about the two comma club member is a person who makes one million for three consecutive months. So if you have that person in your team, then you're a millionaire mentor. All right. Then, but there's a monthly millionaire mentor. A monthly millionaire mentor is an active monthly, an active millionaire mentor. All right. An active uh, millionaire mentor. I'm sorry, a monthly millionaire mentor that is an active millionaire mentor is an active two comma club member who has been active. Who has been an active two comma club member? What am I supposed to say? I didn't get it. An active millionaire mentor is an active two comma club member who has an active two comma club member, meaning a person is also a two comma club. All right. So you see, the, the thing about it is bringing you into consciousness. You have somebody that is a two comma club member, you still see the need to ensure you help that person stay on track so that the person will keep making money. All right. Not that the person is making money, you just neglect the person and turn your face to another direction. No. You see the need to still check the person so that they still make. If you don't have an active two-comma club member for three consecutive months, you're deactivated for um to become a, a millionaire mentor. And this is the same thing for most of the ranks. Most of the ranks. All right. Once you hit any rank, any at any achievers rank, once you hit it, if you don't sustain it for three months, you go down. Do you understand it? Please do we understand that most of those achievers rank. If you hit, let's say, two command club, and you didn't sustain it for three months, you you you, you made a million naira and above for three consecutive months, you became a two command club member. If on the next three months, let's say the next three months you didn't make up to a million naira, then you are deactivated. If you didn't make it the next month, it doesn't bring you down. You strive to make it the, the, the subsequent month, but if it's for three consecutive months you didn't make it, then it means you go down. Now that's about the achievers structure. But let me tell you what is important for you, for most, for the vast majority of you. Hello. Ah. Having said all this, it's not about repeating what has been said. It's about telling you what exactly you should focus on for most of you in the team. On the worst case, please do your, do, let's do yourself a great favor. Tell yourself whatever be the case, bad as it is, come what may, I should be celebrated as a what? An activator as a what? Please, I'm not referring to the former leaders. I'm referring to those that are going through their SMO checklist that are new in the business, or and as the case may be. Do your best to become an activator. And to be an activator, you need to connect how many persons? Yeah. Two persons. So go and activate. Do we understand it? Go and do what? Activate. Connect at least two persons. So do that. Set it as a target for yourself. I must connect a minimum of two persons before this month runs out, so that. I can when they are celebrating, they can call. They will call a lot of activators. A lot of them will be called. All right. Once you do that, congratulations to you. Then you can move to progress to the next um, level. Now, when it comes to leadership structure, there are a couple of hierarchies. But I will tell you what is most important where you focus on. All right, and what exactly you need to do so that you can push it. All right. Now, for the activator thing, it's simple. What I would advise is for most persons, in fact, let me give an advice. You know, the with the restructuring, all leaders, even the leaders have been mandated to go and re go through their SMO checklist again. Is that correct? Yes, yes the leaders have been remandated to go back to the SMO checklist. Um, the beautiful thing is for our team, I know the SMO checklist has always been something we held very, very high esteem. All right, that's it. So, but even at that, let's follow what has been laid down. All right. Even I myself, I have my own SMO. I forgot to bring it. Left it on the car. I have my own SMO card. And who will sign it? Okay. Uh, my, my, my mentor will sign it. He knows that I've done everything. But for the sake of what? Fulfilling what has been laid down, I am repeating it. Have I not been the one regulating people? When people even do the SMO card, I'll say, what do you learn from it? They'll tell me, I learned this. No, 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 no. That one is not in that. Go and repeat it again because I know what is there. But trust me, I am going through it properly. All right, but the advice is this, please. The advice is this, 
you will, you will steer out for the leaders. This I'm referring to leaders, not for the leaders, for most of you. You will do it this way. Please don't go and use your grinding time during the daytime. You know what I mean by grinding time? That time you are supposed to be doing productive activities. Don't go and use it for SMO. Hey, they say we, should, they say we are starting afresh. Let's go back to SMO. How many of you book today? No, no, no. I'm trying to, I want to understand the business better. I want to start from the foundation. Oga, please use the night hours. When you go back home, before you sleep, go and read your book, go and do everything that you need to do before you sleep. Take out an hour before you sleep. It's okay. Use it to go through what you need to go through with speed. All right? Do we understand that? Good. I'll still talk more about that when we're talking about the SMO guide. I will explain very, very carefully so that even those that are new in the business will catch it better. Please, for leaders, don't go and use the time you're supposed to help your team member book their contact, the time you're supposed to fix your launches, the time you're supposed to do your follow-up. You say, no, no, I'm, I'm still trying to, you know, they say everybody go after. Don't do that, please. Use your night hours. One hour every night suffices. And do it over a period. Please, do we understand it? So get it, please. Everybody get the SMO check. If you already have the SMO card, you don't need to buy it. You don't need to. There are some of you that are already in the incubator, implantation, mature, wherever platform you are. You already have the card. You have been going to the training. You don't need to. Please, do we understand it? If you already have the card, you don't need to get it, all right? If you don't have it, even if you're a leader, including myself, all right? It pained me. I didn't even come with it, but no problem. So including myself, you see, when I will even show you, most of you, you see my activity is well signed by the mastermind, and he will sign it. No matter how busy, I will go and meet him, and he will help me what? And does because that's my own decision. My former SMO card, I've done with the SMO checklist, and each time the new SMO was brought, I've always updated myself. And my SMO card is actually with, my, with the mastermind. Please forgive for your information. If you go to suit, Ben, we used to use suit 19. If you go to his office, if I ask him for my SMO card, he will give it to me. All right, that's why anytime we bring a certificate, I always have a certificate because I've gone through my SMO checklist, and that's why I have the capacity to even do some regulation to some degree, all right? So take note. Now for leadership, please, this one is not just achievers. It's an achievers rank, but also a leadership rank. This one is more powerful. And the leadership rank is even what qualifies you to get some achievers rank. Trust me, if you know how to build your leadership foundation, you can, you know, there are three core points of our business. I hope you know that. Three core points of network marketing. Number one is, can anybody remember? The mindset. Number two is what? The skill set, number three is what? Leadership. The leadership. Once you have the mindset right and you have good leadership and good skills, everything, your business is set. And leadership is what puts you at advantage. Leadership is not something you go and beg for. It's not something you go and, it's not something that is my brother, now let me put him in position. It doesn't work in six one energy that way. It's not freely giving, like the mastermind will always say. It is what? It is earned. You earn it. All right? The first level, please, this one is not leadership, please. The first level in the structure. <laughs> you know, even in the police, in the, this thing, there's a, there's a level, we know the leaders in police. There's one they call, is it crew they call them? How do you call them? The recruit. Uh, the, <laughs> they are the lowest, the baseline. Yeah, I don't know what they call them. See, are you sure it's possible? Are you sure? Huh? Oh, rank and fire. <laughs> uh -huh. So that's that. But when you start growing, but you know, they start from there, isn't it? Everybody starts from there when they enter in, even in the military, they have that point. Even in your work, your place of work, there's that place where people start from. You understand? In your capacity, you start from there and then you grow up the ladder. So that place you are starting from is not a leadership rank. Many times in many jobs and many operations, it is a place where you are told what to do. When I was working in my company, the leaders, we used to have this feeling and it pained us so much. But we didn't understand it. The managers were being paid heavily in our, in our perspective. You know, when they are paying somebody 400,000 naira, hi! And we are the ones on the, on the field. They are doctors like us. We are the ones on the field always. And they are, then when we started, they were paying us 80 something thousand naira after slashes and all that. And they are paying another person 500,000 naira. 600,000, 700,000, 400,000. And we are the ones doing the work. And we used to, it used to pain us so much. But we didn't understand it. The idea behind it is, you see at that level, you are not held responsible to a large extent. 
You are told what to do. You are not, you are not paid to think. You are paid to work, to do what you are needed, what has already been planned. Did you get the logic? So at that level, you are paid, you are, you are paid because of what you do, not because of what you bring out, not because of what you innovate, not because of what you, you know, you suggest. And let me tell you the, the, the dangerous thing. When your boss tells you everything you need to do, it means you can be replaced at any time. You can always be removed, and that person will be what? Put in your position and be told what to do. You can be fired at any time. So at that level, they earn the least salary. Public holiday, other people have public holiday. We will still be working. But we are the ones that are paid the least. We are industrial workers. Why was it like that? Because at that level, you are told everything you need to, you are told everything you need to. You have to report to work by social time. You have to clock in by the level. You have to do this. Those this, you have to coordinate this. You have to do, you have to do this, you have to do. Go and do this, go and do this, go and do. You are told what to do. Okay, well, thank you. Now, if you're not paid, if you're not told what to do, it means <clears throat> you are paid for thinking. So at that managerial level, they are planning, they are strategizing and all that. And that's a very difficult task because anything that goes wrong, they are held responsible for it. Hello, please understand it. Anything that goes wrong, they are held fully responsible for it. All right. So at that level, we're talking about partners. Please don't disturb the flow, please. Who is disturbing? Who is distracting there? Please don't distract. Don't distract, please. What's the problem? You are okay, okay, pass it. Right? The process should go and wait somewhere, please. Ooh. So, the first level is a partner. A partner is a person, anyone that just signed into the business. I'm sorry. Good. Um, okay. A partner is a person. Oh, no. Sorry. A partner is a person that just paid money and signed into the business. All right. I think we've talked about that, right? Yeah. Good. A partner is a person who wants to pay money and sign into the business. You're a partner. All right. Now, the next level from being a partner is to become an emerging active partner. Now, I will not talk about most of the other hierarchies for the leadership structure. Please take note. There are lots of, there are a couple of hierarchies. All right. We've already talked about the achievers rank. But the hierarchies of leadership, I will only stop at what matters to everybody here, all right? Once you beat that, we'll show you the next thing. I know the full, if you want the full thing, you can get the video, but I will not talk about the full um, structure. Now, the first, the next stage, once a person becomes a partner, after signing into the business, you just registered in global business, you're a partner. But the next stage is called what? Which is called also what? EAP. And that is the level where everybody, including myself, this is where we are now in leadership. All right. The only, in quote, authority and edge, I mean, the, the authority I have to call this meeting is by the fact, it's not by virtue of the court because I'm a leader. And I'll, no, it's because we have this good understanding, isn't it? As a family. And you understand the fact that there are some edge. There's still something you need to learn, isn't it? Right? But by ranking, by actual ranking, please take note. Even Dr. Omar is a what? Yeah. Yeah. E A. You are afraid to say it. Yeah. You think be, please say EAP. Yeah. Say Dr. Omar is an EAP. Yeah. Say it now. If you don't say it, I'll penalize you. Okay, oh, sorry. I forgot I'm not a leader. I can't penalize you. It's a lie. I can still penalize you. Okay? So understand that's the general ranking for all of us. All right, we're all EAPs at the moment. So what we are doing now is to quickly, not everybody here, please. Some of you are partners, please. Yeah. If it was a leader, if we were talking to leaders, then all leaders, former leaders, are actually yeah. EAP. All those ones that were not leaders are what? Partners. Partners. Anybody that is not in the incubator room, please take note. If you are not in the incubator room, you are not in a implantation, and all they are not being taken, you are an EAP. I mean, you are a what? A partner. But any of those people that are already in the incubator room, they are going through the training. They are also emerging active partner, because what does it take? Once you have done your quick starter guide, you become an imagine active partner. Anybody that has not done quick starter guide, please, it's still a what? 
a partner. I believe there's nobody here that has not done. If anybody that has not done PSG, everybody has done PSG. So beautiful. Now the EAP, in but the beautiful thing is this, please. The EAP does not mean it is not under obligation, you know, to do this thing. The EAP is not under obligation to do any serious activity. That has been mentioned. All right. The idea is we all want to graduate from EAP. We all want to graduate to becoming what? EAP, active partner. Please, that is the goal. That is the target for every single one of you. All right? You all want to graduate from imagine active partner to becoming active partner. If you remain at an imagine active partner level, please take note. These people are not mandated to do anything. The only reason why you that is going through the SMO checklist, you are doing the incubator role or the, like, the maturity platform or implantation or um, foundation, the reason why you are going through all this training is because it is part and parcel of your criteria for application to become a what? Please come and take this stage, please. I know we are all EAPs, but I think I still have the privilege to stay here, isn't it right? So that I can educate you. Don't cut the flu. What's the problem? Please silence everything, please. Please keep everything. Just go, take, follow me carefully, okay? The EAPs are not under any obligation to do anything, any serious minded activity. The reason why you are going through the SMO checklist and everything, <clears throat> by understanding, is because you want to become an AP. All right, there are criteria for it. I'll show you what it is. All right, so you don't mandate them. This is not a time. The era of we're talking about real estate here. People who have their own homes, people who make millions of naira. How should you be mandating somebody to go, out, to go and make make money? Did you get the logic? Mandating them to make money, you must do. No, there is no must. You can do it. Uh, you know, can we just do it? No, no, no problem. Do it the way you like. But the serious minded activity that gets you cautiously to becoming a millionaire or even becoming a Fortune 500,000 naira, all right, where you're making up to 500K, this is this starts when you become an active partner, all right? So, congratulations to please. How many of us are really going through our SMO checklist? We are really going through it. Please, can I see your hand? Please give yourself a round of applause. Okay. The reason is because many of you will actually be you will actually eventually be given the privilege to become mm. certified APs. You understand? It's nothing to contemplate. It's not a thing to be afraid of. No, you will definitely get it eventually. The only thing, just keep going. The leaders are watching. Just keep going. You will it's just like, um, you know the kind of student you are. You are in school. All right? You know you've always been passing your exam. You started 100 level, you passed, you are in 200 level, and everything is going well. You know, you are not bothered. You are not worried whether you are going to get your certificate when you finish. You do get logic. So be, be rest assured for those of you. The only problem is those that are not going through the SMO card, they've not learned anything in this business. Please, you can remain an EAP. All right? There's a, there's a, a, a platform for EAP. Those ones that have not even gone through the SMO card, in fact, very soon they will not even be EAP. They will be what? They will be partners. The EAP are those that um, you know have done their Kickstarter guide, but they are not under obligation. They've done their Kickstarter guide, will give them the orientation. Do you really want to do this thing right? I'll have a special, please take notes. I'll have a special meeting with the leaders. It will most likely be on Saturday night, tomorrow night, but it's for the leaders. I'll post it in that platform. It will be for leaders. Where I'll guide you specifically on how you what you need to do for the for the partners and the imaginative partners when they are done with their food fighter guide, what you need to do exactly what exactly you need to do orientation how they are oriented and everything i'll do all that with them separately so take note they are given an orientation they are shown the vision the vision is communicated and all that and then they can apply to become active partner but that doesn't mean the application does not guarantee that they are actually active partners but they can start going through the activities eventually in the smo in the incubator room, what's the next one? Implantation room, down to the maturity platform. All right. Many a times, some of them, if they are so fortunate, before they are even done with the SMO checklist, they are already active partners. Do you understand it, right? Please, do we understand it? Yes. Good, beautiful. So that is it. Because remaining an imaginative partner is not a good thing. Please take note. It's not really a good thing. It doesn't put you at any advantage to achieve anything. Because that's a platform where you can you have the opportunity to socialize while you casually run your business as you please. You will agree with me. Anything you do casually, as at when you please and anyhow you like, you hardly get anything from me. Isn't it true? It is. So anything you do casually when you feel like you hardly get anything reasonable from me. 
all right? So they, they can casually, the, the business is not meant to be coercion, all right? It's not, if there's no coercion, there's no force. They can be there. On that platform, please, our general platform remains partners platform, all right? The current Kingsman platform has been redefined. It is now the EA platform, EAP platform, the Imagine Leaders platform, um, uh, the EAP platform too, okay? The Kingsman platform is the EAP platform on probation. The Imagine Leaders platform are also EAP um, platforms, all right? Why the other platforms are, are what? Partners platform. All these have been redefined. Please, let's take note of that, all right? They are not compelled to do anything the sell meeting link, they are not compared to do anything whatsoever. They just run the business whenever they have chance. They can even just, if they like, they give contact, they submit their list, we book, they can get a sign of their company, no problem. They are just running whenever, however, and whenever they like. But please, there is no board here that should remain at EAP. Hello, please. It shouldn't be that you are in my team. You know, other leaders will tell you, the leaders have made it liberal, but I don't make it liberal, please. Let's not make this thing liberal. Let's not joke with this. Why should you be an EAP? That's the question. Please, somebody say, God forbid. Oh, I paid money. The, the least person in this business paid how much? 50,000. 50, I paid 50,000 naira to be socializing. Who pays 50,000 to be social? Who paid? If you know you paid your money to be socialized, let me see your hand. If I want to socialize, I'd rather please take the 50,000, go and use it to buy biscuits and just do something with it. Did you understand what I'm saying? Nobody should pay 50,000 naira and be here to be socializing. The least person here paid 50,000 naira. The least person. So I don't expect it that anybody should want to remain and eat. But please take note, it's not a mandate. But for me, out of passion and out of favor is why I'm saying this. I'm not mandating you, but I'm saying it out of passion, out of favor. It, I see it like, I, I even see it like a crime for you to pay 50,000. Why didn't you go and use it to do Sadaka? You know what is Sadaka? What is Sadaka? Charity. Just go to the hospital. Just dash somebody. Go to the give somebody. You just come and pay fifty thousand to socialize. What is that one? Please. I believe nobody joined this business with the way we communicated the vision. Everybody joining this business want to become successful, isn't it? So please, let's all get out of this um, EAP thing and become active partners. All right. That is it. The only thing you need to do to remain an EAP. Remember, there's a partners platform. The rank and file, right? To remain in the EAP platform, once you generate one code in a month, meaning you just sign up one person in a month, not even sign up one person, one code in a month, you remain an EAP. Did you get the logic? That's the criteria. So, so there can be EAPs. Please, there will definitely be EAP. If you connect someone that has, based on the code, you've already explained what the codes are. All right, so take note. Your subscription lasts for one month. If you connect one code, <laughs> your subscription. <laughs> your subscription lasts for one month if you connect somebody with what? With ED pack, with one account, right? What if you connect somebody with triple pack? Three months. Three months. If you connect to Technoverse, you last for how many months? Three months. You can still remain on the Imagine Active Partners platform. But if a whole month passes, you didn't connect a single person, you will not be removed immediately. Please take note. You will still be left consecutively for how many months? Three months? If for three consecutive months, you are not able to connect one person, three months, one person, no productivity, you'll be returned back to which platform? Oh, wow. Partners platform. That one is not even just to social, you, you, that one is socialization of another degree. Some people that like to sell, even don't close football, they will not allow football and other politics and all that, you understand? There are many things, it, it's, it's football even allowed there, it's like football might be allowed there. <laughs> so please don't post in my partner's platform. Me, I don't allow it. Please. All right, the partner's platform still remains um, you know, sacrosanct in the way we, we preserve it, please, so that we don't turn into a total joke. But the truth about it is this, for partner's platform, even you know, football, you can post there. <laughs> if there's, the only thing we will not allow, you know, those kind of sensitive posts, religion, nudity, um, politics, you know, those things are very sensitive. Don't come and tell us Peter will be, or Atiku, or what's the other one? You know, don't bring that don't bring that thing there we don't want it we don't want that because we don't want to bring issues all right if you want to do that one go and create another platform separately and gather people that you'll be doing that one together all right we don't want those inventor don't come and bring don't bring religious things that will create faction all right don't bring nudity don't bring those things that are unacceptable but in the partners platform there will be some amazing social things you know, 
<laughs> just bring things that you know that will not cause problems. Just put it there, no problem. All right. So please, but the Imagine Active Partner subscription is just a single code, at least for three consecutive months. Make sure you don't generate less than that. Okay. But please, these are the general things about. These are the most important. If you connect the technologies, we've explained that already. If you connect all that, you are deactivated as an EAP. If for three consecutive months you don't generate any code, do we understand this part? Please, is it well understood now? Yes. For the benefit of those that missed that meeting. Now, of course, like it is already mentioned, once in a week, a clarion call will always go out to the EAPs, those that are ready, requesting of people who wish to become APs, active partners. All right, active partners to indicate interest. Once they indicate interest, the GA leader will carry out an onboarding session, give them the orientation, tell them what they are supposed to be doing. It will be a Zoom session. They will guide them on what they are supposed to be doing to become active partners. Please, somebody touch yourself. Say, I am an active partner. <laughs> it's, what we should, it's just that by, by recognition and ranking, we are all EAPs. But by spirit, hi, please say it again. Say, I am an active partner. <laughs> that is what you should be. By spirit, that is what you should be, please. All right? So but please take note of that. But EAPs are still recognizing their capacity. Let's all take note of that. All right? So all those onboarding sessions will be done by the G8 leader, which is my mastermind, my leader, and he will do that. But this is the active partnership. If we're together, say hi. hi. Be listening very well. An active partner, all right, to become an active partner, this is what it says. For many of you that will be celebrated for the first achievers rank, which is called what? Activator. For most of you, you see the word now. Activator, once you get become an activator, it means you have already what? Activated. You're already an active partner to a good extent. So become an active partner by activating. That's why I encourage everybody, do everything humanly possible to make sure you do what? Sign in how many persons this month? Persons. On a worst case scenario. So that that qualifies you to become an active partner. Although an active partner is a person that has kicked, to, to apply, these are the criteria for applying. To become an active partner, you kick start by connecting how many persons? There's an application for it. Please take note. There's an application. I hope I could search that. Uh, application. Okay, I think I just saw it now. Yes, let off um, this thing. Please look at this, please. There is an application letter. Let that open. There's an application letter which you can apply to become an active partner please pay careful attention to this look at it yeah okay it's open right Good. now this is the letter some of you might have seen this but please look at this very carefully now you put in your address i'll tell you the criteria for applying i'll show you but this is the, the letter itself you put in your address at the top right corner right please you apply this through your leader if I you apply through me, all right, just apply, just apply through me. I'll send it to the mastermind because I still have vision. Yeah, I'm already, I've already put up my application. So you can be sure that my own must be granted before your own. I hope you know that. And so the good news, I've already put up my own application. All right. I've already met the criteria and I've put up my application already, please. So I know it will be approved anytime from between the now and anything from next week. I know it will be by God's grace, it will be what approved. So this is the application format. The leadership C21FG International Abuja Headquarters, Nigeria. Yes, I stroke my application to be accepted as an active partner. All right. I you just put in your name. All right. I, Umar Ahmed Shew, um, under the G8 leader of, of who? The same thing with you, please. When you're applying, don't say under the, if you don't put me in trouble, please. There's a under the leadership of Dr. Don't put me in If I even see it, I'll tear it. I'm telling you the truth. Yes, I'll tell you because it's trouble. I will not even forward it now. It's like those of you in the military. Imagine you know what that means now. Uh -huh. Good. So don't put me in trouble. All right. Under the GA leadership of Dr. Victor Abdalsin. Good. You put it there. With former access. <laughs> <laughs> so get it. This is your body. With former access code, you write the reservation code. Because you know the DA, 381 DA, right? Uh -huh. So you can write if you are DA, you say with former access code of 381 slash DA slash, you put that your former reservation so that your records can be traced <laughs> with former reservation code of this. 
All right. If it is KA381 slash KAS slash this, this, this. If it is IS, the same thing. If it is AM, the same thing. If it is CM, whatever your formal reservation code. All right. Just put it there. All right. Then you say, I hereby apply to be accepted as an active partner with C21FG. All right. I am committed to be what? To be trained. And in turn, help train others as I grow in the business. Remember, our vision is to raise financially free people who do what? That is for active partners, please. Do you understand? You know, I imagine an active partner. Is he under any need to train anybody? No, if, but it's even if he likes, he gets trained. If he likes, he doesn't even get trained. No problem. Do you understand? Nobody's mandated. He can be doing it gradually at his time and pace and whenever he feels like. But here, you are stating your commitment that if you eventually are successful, hello, you are making it a commitment because we've had a lot of leaders who are successful. They are just eating their money and enjoying themselves alone. I hope you know that. But not in this our team, although there are, we have those people in situ and energy. We don't want them anymore. Those people I want to be scrapped. That's the essence of this. The leadership is trying to scrap them off. The question is, when you have, the business has paid you one million naira, and you don't see the need to help anybody, please, you don't belong here. You don't belong here. It's not by force. The vision is, our vision is our vision. Our vision is to help people so that they can help others. If you know that you don't want to help anybody, please remain a what? A partner, yeah. partner. <laughs> remain a partner. Remain an AAP or a partner, whichever one. Just remain there. Because you're not under any obligation. You are stating it clear that if you are helped and you become successful, you understand? As you get the training and you become successful, you too, you'll be ready to what? Help other person. I mean, is it not a good thing? Beautiful. That's it. As you grow in the business, all right? I am committed to adhere to all the instructions and guidelines that will help me advance in this organization as an active partner if I am what? Accepted, all right? Then you just simply state the full name, your email uh, address, the OGTC username. Now, if you observe, password was not, they didn't request password. Did you observe that? The reason is because we have one unifying password, which is what? CF. Yeah. CF group. We have one unifying. So automatically, if you do, if you if you apply this, for some of you that change your password, if you apply this <laughs> and they log in, because they will check. They are, you know, I will state the criteria. I will state the criteria shortly. So if they check to see whether you have met the criteria, if they try to log in and you have changed your password, automatically you remain. Yeah. In fact, it, it, it renders the application disqualified. Okay, your email should be there, your name should be there, and your, of course, your signature and the date. So this is just the application format, and um, that helps you apply. Now, for many of you, now look at it. Once you have kickstarted your business by connecting, let me advise by connecting how many persons? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I've already given that advice. Go ahead and connect two persons and apply. This, 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 the here it states here one person be on the safe side, connect how many persons, two persons, and be actively going through your training. Be sure you will definitely be one and those. I have no doubt about that. I have no doubt about it. It's not a thing of uh, this thing. All right. So these are the criteria. Number one, kickstart. So, meaning, please don't apply, don't bring a letter. Don't bring a letter. Meet this criteria, then you do what? Apply. Now, this is what you need to do to become an active partner. You can start by connecting. To become an active partner, you can start by connecting one person. But by understanding for 381DA, to be on the safe side, you, you can start by connecting how many persons? Two persons? Make that fast, all right? You apply through your G leader to join the AP. The only thing is my own work is just to help you carry the, the letter. That's why my name is my name there in the letter. My name is not there. My own work is just to help you give it to, so that the place does not look like everybody's trying to go and see Dr. Victor to carry their letter, they, no. Just give it to me. I'm a messenger. I'm just a servant. My own is just a messenger to carry your letter and relay it. Do you understand it? Good. Now, you apply to your to join the APs. All right. Now, of course, it's already stated there, like in the letter, agreeing to what? To the laid down guidelines for APs. You pass through the onboarding session. The onboarding session is where you are guided properly through the incubator um, session. Um, how what it take the SMU card and everything will be guided, everything will be told, and everything, even the SMU checklist and everything will be discussed there. All right. 
that is it. They'll be guided, even the runs and everything, how they can, tactics and everything will be taught by the mastermind directly. All right. Now you must agree, of course, by active partners, those active partners will agree to attend cell meetings. Please, cell meeting is good for you. Cell meeting for people who want to actually be very, very successful in this business, your best bet is cell meeting. All right. For imagine active partners, now some meeting for imagine active partners, is it compulsory? For partners, is it compulsory? No. For partners, is it compulsory? No. For imagine active partners, is it compulsory? No. But for active partners, is it compulsory? Yes. Please understand this. The idea for it, let me tell you this thing. This whole thing is not the essence is not to police anybody and all that. That's why it's made voluntary. What is the essence of cell meeting? The essence of cell meeting is. Remember, we say there are three things in our business. Mindset, number two is what? And number three is what? It will take some people one year before they get it right. Some, it will take them two years before they get it right. But for anybody attending cell meeting, how long do you think it takes them to get it right? Within three months, they can get it right. What I mean by getting it right, I'm not talking about, they're already making a lot of money in the business. They're already doing very, very well in the business because they grow faster. It will take somebody two years to learn a particular thing, but somebody in the business, because every time is always attending the cell meeting. Cell meeting does not mean you must always, always, because, um, because somebody asked the question then that what about we that are on part time? Can we be active partner? The answer is what? Yes, yes. you can be on part time and maybe you have a job and you are still an active partner. All it just takes is you can join your cell meeting on where? You know, Join the summit on Zoom, get it. All right. Summit usually start what time? Most times 8 a.m. They start by 8 a.m. And anything latest, 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 9 30, everything is done. What I might even do, what I might do, I might encourage for anybody that sees it necessary. If you want to make the summit in 7 30, it's better. The only reason why I made summit in 8 o'clock is so that some people can start their reminder call earlier from 7 o'clock. Do we understand it? Some people can start their reminder call by seven o'clock. So that between seven to eight, they can do their reminder. Come to the office by seven, or you can start your reminder call wherever. So that latest by eight, you join cell meeting. So that's why I prefer the cell meeting for eight. But if anybody sees the need to make it 7 30 or there about, it's fine. But cell meetings are usually eight. The advantage of making cell meeting by seven or eight, 7 30 is because of those that are going to work. Some of them can just quickly join in, finish everything, maybe by 8 30. You understand? And they are done and they can dive to work. Do you understand it? But eight o'clock is just an average time. All right? Those in the active partners will agree to go through the SMO checklist without excuses. All right? So that they can get the full skills and all that. Of course, they must be ready to generate um, for the active partners. To stay an active partner, it means they are, they are generating a minimum of how many codes monthly? A minimum of two codes monthly. If you don't generate two codes monthly for three consecutive months, automatically it nullifies their, their status as active partners, all right? They will just simply be moved to the what? EAP group. It means the way it will be is that the active partners platform will be there. You understand? And they will have, please, for, the, for our team, we have what we call the DMO. Somebody say DMO. DMO. Active partners have DMO. EAPs don't have DMO, all right? The active partners will have the DMO. But what I will do, Please, nobody should tell my leader. Say you promise. I, I want to do something for you, but you promise that you will not report me. Yes, this one is to help you grow in the business fast. But it's a personal. I just want to do it for you. If you know you will not, if you know you promise, say I promise. I promise. You have promised though. Yes. Some of them, so that <laughs> tomorrow they will go and tell. God is watching you. Now I'm going to give some of you the privilege of the DMO. All right. I'll give you the DMO. Now, I might, um, I, I won't give it here, but that'll be on maybe on Monday. If the mastermind does not organize something, but if he does organize it, it will be on when? Tuesday. Tuesday. So it means Monday and Tuesday will all be together. So um, I will give you the privilege of DMO by next week. All right? For active habits. All right? Though we are all EAPs, but you can have the DMO, start using it. All right, please take note. That is for and those are the please. That DMO is for people that are intending to become active 
partner. I will give you, though we are not active partners, but by spirit, by ranking, currently we are not active partners, isn't it, right? We are EAPs, but by spirit and by intention, we are what? By spirit and by intention, we are what? We are, in fact, somebody even added food by the back. I like that we are fully active partners. So which means we will still eventually be ranked at that. So that's why I will give you the GMO by next week. All right, that GMO, which is what you use to tender, you understand, your report of activities and everything, I'll release it by next week, okay? That is it. So in the platform, there will be active partners platform. Once you fall short of the criteria for three months, they are removed back to EAP. Please take note of that, all right? Now that is for that. So for everybody here, for everybody that is not a former leader, hello? For everybody here that is not a former leader, your target is to quickly activate by ensuring that we connect up to two persons. Is that a difficult task? No. Is it difficult no. to connect two persons? No. Absolutely not. All right. So do that before the end of this month so that we can. Please take note, nothing has actually changed in the real sense. What has actually changed is the need for you to become more productive and more cautious and rising up leadership rank. That is what has changed significantly, all right? Everything that has been happening before continues, all right? So take note of that. Please, do we understand that, right? Beautiful. Now, good. Now, please. The next, this one I'm talking about now, this one I'm talking about, it's strictly, strictly, I usually forget this a lot. This one is strictly for leaders, all right? For former leaders, rather, for former leaders. This one is strictly for former leaders. For people who are already, or who are currently in the business, you are in any of the platform for the incubator, or whether you are in the partner's platform and all that, simply apply to become an active partner by meeting up the criteria that I've explained. But for the leaders, all right, your target, hello, Hi. please listen very well. For the leaders, your target is to become a what? Business. This is what you should question. For the former leaders, the former leaders, your target is to pursue becoming a king's man. For those that are in the that are currently in the in the platforms going through their training and all that, just to start them, make them active partners, make them be the criteria for active partnership. But for former leaders, former leaders are who and who? Please give me give me their their rank. Kingsman, emerging leader, and even unstoppable leader. All right. Your target is to become a what? Based on the current criteria, please. That's your target, all right? To become a king's man is easy. Not as easy as before, but easy. I have already talked about the essence of everything, so this shouldn't be a big challenge. I've laid the foundation already. To become a king's man, it's simple. It means the person must have completed the SMO checklist. Did you see the beauty for most of the people? You remember I said something. For most of you that are going through the SMO card and all that, are, we're all imagine active partners. And I told you to get ready, you become active partners. Let me tell you what I'm actually doing. Some of you will actually become what? Please take note. The truth is, hello, listen very well. The truth is, ideally, you are not supposed to even apply. Ideally, you are not supposed to apply until you've met all these criteria that I stated initially, right? But the beauty is, I mean, ideally, you are not supposed to even be going through the SMO checklist. That's what I meant to say. A, a person is not supposed to al be allowed to go through the SMO checklist except the person agrees or and applies for, for active partnership. Please take note. When the person has agreed and applied, then we can, then it's approved. Then before the person can start going through, that is ideally. But this one I talked about, you understand? I am only doing this so that you people can be at advantage. Some of you, by the time they are approving you as active partners, you are already actually, you're already a leader. Please take note. 
That's the beauty of what I'm doing. That's why I'm permitting it. So anybody that is interested in going through it, don't wait for the, for the approval to come for every, it takes a process. It might take a week, two weeks, three weeks. The spirit might dampen. So start the process once they are willing. Did you understand it? But explain it clear, in clear terms to them. All right? So for the king's man, this is a person that has already completed the SMO checklist. How many of us from the former criteria, you've already completed the SMO checklist? Let me see your hand. Big congratulations to you. All right? So you have completed the SMO checklist. All right? The person has connected how many active partners? Five. Five active partners. Five active partners by the criteria. An active partner is a person who has fixated at least how many person? One person. I did it. So once the person has connected five active partners, meaning he's carrying his team along. And this brings me to those who are in the business. That's what makes you a king's man. You are not carrying anybody along. Only you, you have 10 people in your team. You run to a meeting. They say there is a meeting. You run there, you sit down. And you listen and you leave. You forgot that you have 10 people in your team. You didn't see the need to call them. You are not a king's man. You are not. Nobody recognize you. Even in the village meeting, when they say it's my king's man, our king's men and all that. Hey, king's men, because of that relationship, you don't have any relationship, you don't care about anybody. Please, you're not a king's man. It means a king's man is someone that has not only finished his SMO checklist, but has also does what? Has connected five active partners, which means he's carrying them along. Five persons who has at least gotten a minimum of how many persons each? One person. Has helped them fix up their business. Did you get the logic right? Good. And then have a minimum of three accounts. Of course, that's for King's men. They should have a minimum of three accounts. And then um, this, the next criteria moves you to become an emerging cellular. Can you see how simple the criteria is? Please, hello. Don't see this as difficult. I mean, we should stand at this point because this is where I'm end it and I'll start taking questions. Because I'll end it here. Next week is where I'll be showing you some, the, the full picture of what I've jotted and what I intend to show you. This is like a foundation. Permit me to start. Don't see, is this difficult or easy? easy. Absolutely easy piece. It's your state of mind that determines it. Let me tell you why this thing is done. Let me tell you why this thing is done. Initially, let me tell you what is, currently what is happening in C4 energy is. We have, based on the formal ranking, please. Permit me to stand on the formal ranking. We have unstoppable leaders in C2 energy. Unstoppable leaders. I was interacting with an unstoppable leader. A U leader, fam. A U leader. I'm not mentioning his name. There is no this thing. It's just to give you an idea of why this restructuring is done. A U leader, actually, how much did you make last month? I was just, I was just, we we're just discussing casually. I said, how much were you able to make last month? It's not in our team, please, for information, so that you don't start thinking, oh, it's one of the leaders. It's not in our team. It's not in our team. But I can't mention his name. I said, how much did you make last month? And he said he made 10,000 naira. Wow. Yeah. Let's say 11,000 naira. Probably, thank you. Somebody shouted, Medina. Somebody said, charge card. <laughs> did you get it, Lordy? So I'm stopping with that to make that money is not good for that position. You know why? Because there are people who have responsibility. How much will you use to pay light bill from that money? Did you get the logic? You know, so that is making 10,000 naira in a month. Ha! There's a problem. It's emergency. It's, it's, in fact, you need to bring firefighters. It's SOS. You understand the tactic? So that was where the issue is. But with this criteria, the idea is from the foundation, you get it right. What has brought to that? The only thing that caused that is Probably the only leg that is moving for that, leg, that for that leader, that was probably that is one leg. Did you get the logic? And you know when the one leg is moving, it becomes a power leg. And you know in this business overtaking. You can be rest assured. I don't know. For him to even make ten thousand and maybe through maintenance and all that, probably it means there must be somebody in his team that made maybe two hundred thousand, hundred and something thousand. Yes, he made ten thousand. I am sure there's somebody in his team that made 200,000, 100 and something, 250,000. Why will a leader make 10,000 naira and then somebody under you makes 200,000 naira? There is only one problem. 
The leader didn't get his foundation right. One leg is moving. The idea behind this is if you have five legs, five, not just five legs, but five what? Active, active legs moving. And this is the criteria. The only people that can participate in Challenge 36 are who? <laughs> These are the people that can partake in Challenge if you can't meet this criteria, there's no, please, let's not, not, don't bother. So everything you are striving for is to help your team members build their structure. And I will advise anybody here, be fast for the former leaders, please, the former leaders. I'm saying this to the former leaders. The former leaders, my advice for you is be fast to hit this criteria. The mastermind had a meeting with you. Hello? Hi. The mastermind had a meeting with us, with you, with some of you, and told you that be fast to activate and all that and all that. But listen very well. Be fast to become a what? Yes, okay, former leader, be very, very rapid. Become a king's man. For the former leaders, you should get that done this month. If you know you used to be a king's man before, or an emerging leader, or an unstoppable leader like myself, or a monthly millionaire mentor, and as the case may be, be fast and be very rapid to become a king's man. It takes you nothing other than what? Building five active legs. Let's get it done. Because the goal, I've already set my mandate. Whether you people like it or yes. Whether you people like it or yes. Even if it means me. By thunder, by fire, by force, by whatever, by means, by blood, by water. You see that Singapore thing? You see that Singapore? Somebody say we move. <laughs> Whether you like it or yes, I must travel with people. I'm not going the way I went to Nairobi. I'm not going alone. I have to go with people. So you have to do everything to make yourself a mom. Be fast with this. For any former leader, this is your target for this month. Go and get it done immediately. Get five active legs. All right? Please, do we get that? Now, I will stop here so that I can just take one or two questions. But take note, for next week, this is what I'll be talking about now. Specifically, on Monday, if the mastermind doesn't have anything for us on Monday, then we'll have our meeting on Monday. If he does, then our meeting will be on when? Tuesday. So start promoting it, please don't forget. Start promoting it even from the end of today or from tomorrow. Start promoting, start invite, reminding your team. Now, the idea for next week, what I'll be talking about, just to give you an idea, is number one, we already talked about active partners. I don't need to talk about that, right? Everybody knows what they're pursuing. What I want to talk about next week, to give you a preamble so that you know how important it is, is it states that you must have completed your SMO check. I will explain this properly. Because some of you will complete your SMO checklist, and when you bring it, they'll tell you, oh, God, it is not acceptable. Go back and restart. Do you understand it? To avoid that, I will teach you exactly what it means for the SMO checklist to be completed. All right? Then I will also teach you some of the tactics and strategies. All right? Mm -hmm for you to be able to easily and as fast as possible be able to connect up to how many persons? Five, 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 five active active persons. This is what I'm teaching next week, all right? So um, it sounds small, but it's going to be very extensive because this one will take some time. This one will also take some time, all right? So be there. If there's anybody, um, the only reason why I'm making it general is because I know there are some people who are new in the business. Although they are new in the business, they are new in the business. Maybe they are even in incubator room. Or they are in a, what's the other platform? Um, implantation. implantation room. They are even in implantation room. But because of the kind of spirit they have, you know, this is supposed to be for leaders, former leaders, right? Former leaders. But some of you that are just starting, because of the spirit, you told yourself, man, this is it for me. Some of you will catch the spirit. And at the end of the day, you apply to become active partners. They will log into your DTC. Hello? Hi. You know your username is, is there. They will log into it. And they will call me to order and say, ah, why is this person applying for active partnership? Why didn't you recommend him for... Did you get logic? I want to be blamed for that. You'll be applying, you're in the platform, you're applying for active partnership, but because of the way you cut it, at the end of the day, the mastermind will say, ah, but this person, I just logged into a PTC. Why didn't you apply? I want to receive those kind of blames. You know, there are good blames. Good blames. Those kind of good. Somebody is blaming you, but you are even happy. 
<laughs> you don't know. They are good blame. Somebody blames you for your heart. Those are the kind of things I want to see. So that's the essence of why I'm making it general and not specific for leader. Let me take one or two questions and let's see. Um, does anybody have any question with regards to what we've done so far? Okay, let me take it. Please, those on Zoom, you can write it. I might give you the opportunity to um, also speak if possible, but uh, just write it while I'm taking some questions here. Please let me hear your question. Uh, Make it back. Yeah, five or six questions. Yeah. Those, uh, no, 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 no. Flesh. Behold, Flesh. all things shall pass away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have his, his question said, is it for the that the five active partner? Is it for the people that uh, by based on the former, do you know what I was? Please, somebody tell me what I was. I'm a monthly millionaire mentor. <laughs> based on the former rank, I'm a monthly millionaire mentor. Do you understand? I have two common club members. Do you understand? And I've not made, in fact, I've not made over a year less than a millionaire in the business for over how long? Maybe like about two, more than two years now in this business. I don't, it's not a prayer point. But they say I should go and start afresh and apply as an active partner. You are saying, <laughs> did you get the logic right? Does that answer the question? So his question is clear. All right. So he's asking, is it based on the people you already have? Some people will say, I already have two legs moving. For your information, I have over close to like, like 14 legs or 15 legs, 16 legs moving. All right. But that's not withstanding. I need five fresh legs that I will give to the mastermind. Because you know, in your DTC, there's what we call recruitment. Yeah. Network men. In your tracking center, once they log in, they'll see your network men. The date the people came in, they can track it from your DTC. You know, everything is tracked. They don't have to so take it. All right? Good. So you can ask your questions on uh, this thing. Actually, let me take a question before I take from uh, this thing. Please, those on Zoom, you can bring a question. Somebody say, I have a question. I'll give you opportunity to speak, but you can be writing it. All right? Feel free, I'll just sit down. Let me do this. All right. People that want to connect. And yeah. Read and write. Yeah. Okay, I just asking people that want to connect, but they cannot read and write. Um, what language? Let's be specific. All right, we have uh, um, um, specific situations, and we know how we handle them. What language does the person understand? Does he understand English? Does, if they speak English, can the person understand? He can understand, but the only problem is on letter. Can't really read and write. Now, that's not a problem. It's already taken care of in the team, isn't it, right? Is that correct? Yes. If the person understand how, sir, congratulations, because most of the activities in the SMO, we can go through there. And since he even understands English, I hope you know that he's even having, he needs to even pay us more because he will learn English in this business. Yes. Do you understand it, right? Yes. But most of those activities are in that language. So we have uh, people who have been able to do very good work. We even have house presentation. Is that correct? We have house quick starter guys. We even have the seven skills in house We have save is the new oh everything is in house now. Save is the new risky in house Live your dream in house. Everything we have in house. Please a lot of house house brothers. The house brothers that are in the business and sisters. I appreciate you of the that. Um, the only thing why I would not see the need like me. If I'm given that obligation, you know, I'm from Edo State and uh, from Ouch, if they tell me to translate those, I will not be able to do that. Even my language, if I'm speaking it, I'm struggling. Uh -huh. So, but that's because I didn't see the need. There's nobody from my tribe here that doesn't that speaks my language that does not speak English. So, since he knows English, please, we blend to English. And it's the same thing for many other tribes. You know, this is a relatively northern part of the country, relatively. You understand? And that's it. So, We've done that in house already. If that's the case, it's taken care of. Now, if we are going to be having people from Yoruba, then it means they have to come in, we'll teach them, and it will help us translate. Okay, somebody is asking. Um, Mr. Musa is like, I have a question. Ask yours before I read this out. Uh, sorry, my question is this. In terms of that CAP, maybe you have a PAI in your team. Yes. So, avoid a big thing in the organization. Yes. At what stage do you exclude the person who is not willing to align with the vision? Because even after they are training, they are not going to stay in the business. I mean, they will either need to waste your time and your resources. At what stage do you just exclude the person? Like, you know, the previous session say, said that once they are finding us together in the community uh, of purpose, yeah. they are finding that they end up focusing, trying to put them. At the end of the day, they will not. 
Yeah. My mind is deficient. I yes. try to train them and all that. Yeah. So I'm just like two years trying to put the person. I know at the end of the day, this person is not really truly good. Yeah. No, the, the idea is um, yeah. the idea is um when you're talking about beauty of purpose and all that and all that, you're talking about vision, you know, and all that. This thing is restricted to who? Active mm-hmm. partners. And that's the essence of this restructure. If you are working with someone that's not willing to understand, it's not, it's not a, you know, one thing, the beauty of our team, please take note, the beauty of our team, and that's the way I was trained and mentored, it is to, and you know, that's what God does. God does not even look for qualified people. Many times, sometimes. In fact, what he does is, he chooses whomever he likes and qualifies the person. And that's what, if, if Dr. Victor was looking for a qualified person, I won't be in this business, trust me. If the mastermind was looking for somebody that was competent and qualified and had blah, 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 you won't see me in this business. You understand? What he was only seeing was some potential. But I was totally unqualified when I started this business. Okay? But he gave me the, the blueprint, showed me the vision and everything. And I picked the interest. So interest was a requisite. So since I had that interest and I was willing to go through it, and he started taking me through it. You get the logic. But the beautiful thing about all these things here is the structure in here is just a thing of official purpose to make it formal. You understand? So that they know that, okay, this is the criteria, this is this, is it, and then they make it formal. The idea, the general thing is this, I will still leave it to discretion. If a person agrees to become an active partner, you've shown him the benefits, and he sees the benefits, and the need to become an active partner and to be serious with the business. It is a thing of choice. We are running a voluntary organization. I hope you know that. We're not in the military. If a person does not wish to do these things, can the person be forced? No, no. no it's impossible. Did you get a lot of, so when you're working with anybody and it's not giving you green light, that is why we now have a platform. You don't, you don't um, get angry with the person. You don't take it personal. Except the person is a leader. If you see me raise my voice and talk to some people in a way kind, many times there are people that have reached a level of leadership. You understand? Because I'm, it's not about them. It's not about what they did. I'm looking at the people they are responsible for. If you decide not to do your business, so I can't be angry with you. But if I've trained you to become a millionaire, and I've given you a mandate to raise other millionaires, and people have started committing themselves to you, and these people are hoping for a brighter future, I hope you know that there are some people in this business, through this business is where they are hoping to get the next meal for their family. They are. Some of them, this is the only way they will pay their school, their children's school fees. Those people have come and they've committed themselves to you as a leader. I will take it to you to any man. Did you get a lot? For them, I take it personal. But for people like that, that is why we have the platform called EAPs and even what partners. No, if it's BI, I don't want you to. BI is a, BI is an automatic. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's just like a just it's a partner. At, at best level, you can describe them. It's not even a partner. Set. BI is BI, is not partner. I hope you know that. BAI is BAI. Oh, is it BI you are talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they talk of picking, they talk of house get. <laughs> Did you get the logic? We can't be talking of house help when we are talking of children. You understand what I'm saying? BAI is BAI. I thought you were even talking of somebody that is in the business but not serious. Anybody that's in the business, sign with the partner. Anybody that is serious can move ahead the rank. Anybody that has not even paid but was just, it was not a privilege. And the person is no longer serious. What do you keep in one side? You need him. It's not serious. It's not ready. And you move on. That's it. But right. those yeah, are, yeah. Are, you, are you going to add them with any of the plans? Yeah. No, the only thing I might do, I will seek permission from the mastermind. That's the only way I'll answer this. But from the mastermind, I will ask him if he will permit. Uh, we have the GAI platform. You understand? You know, there's a restructure. Uh, initially, I was just to open a platform, put them, put them there, and all that. But the idea is, uh, yeah. I will seek his permission. If I miss that, I'll ask him that. All right. I won't give you an answer until I get eh? the AI partner. Uh, no. <laughs> but where somebody said, so what if someone is able to connect two personal side of the first month and the second month got three personal sponsor again? Will the person be able? Of course. Nobody says in one month. Get the structure right immediately. The only thing is you tell yourself how long do you want to do that. Remember, January is coming. Hello, and what is happening in January? In March. In fact, thank you for reminding me. I need to ask the mastermind. Please let me advise. I'm just assuming. I'm thinking maybe the ticket might be ten thousand. I'm assuming. 
Okay, 12. We'll go. Okay, let's go. No, yeah, let's step to us. No, that's not that. 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 No, no, please. We'll talk. I don't think. I don't hear you. Uh -huh. Please. Well, I would not know for our team here. All right, please. I'm not sure for our team here. But what I would advise to so be on the safe side, please just go and reserve. Uh, you said their own was how much? So they said 12,000. Okay, it was a different thing. They said 12,000. Let's take it out. If you, one team is doing 12,000, let's be on the safe side. Be on how much? <laughs> no, no. I, I, well, even if you make it at that same 12,000, and even if they say 15, you can still look for 3,000 and complete that. Be on the safe side. Please start getting the money for your ticket. Okay? But I don't know how much is the ticket. All right? So the idea is how long do you want to make it for yourself? For the activators, those that are that wants to active, activate and become active partners, we told them to get it done between now and the end of the month for general partners, have yeah. But for the leaders, we say we should get it done between now and the end of the month, but their target is to become yeah. if you decide that you want to wait till a March, January, January, a March, before you become a kingsman, it's your head. Other people will become cell leaders, some will become emerging cell leaders. So it all depends on, on what you want for yourself, okay. That is it. So I think that answers that question. All right. Um, let me rush to the last one. Zoom. So I said my question is that now that the current change in the system affected the leadership position, does it also affect the former way of income? No, 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 no. Oh. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> the matching bonus is still how much? <laughs> the direct collector bonus for the pack is still the same. The way it, is. it doesn't affect the money. In fact, the only thing is that the way the structure is now, it will help you make more or less money. More. Oh. More money for yourself, okay? So it doesn't affect the money, all right? I think I've answered the basic question. Ah, there are more questions. Please make it very brief. Our process are already around. Please, I can't take it. Look at what will happen. I can't take your questions, all right? I'm already taking the, the most one. What you do is reserve the questions till on Monday, okay? Yes, because that's what we conclude everything. So I appreciate every single one of us. Are we all ready to emerge? Yes. yes. Are we ready to activate? Yes. Somebody say, I must activate. I must activate. <laughs> Come a king's man. Let's go with this spirit and let's start the activity. So help me God. We got on my side. Yes, I'm my of God. All right. God bless you. Let's get into activity. All right. You're welcome. Yeah, bro. How did you go? Yeah. Cool, man. Okay, so I will never ask you that time. Okay, okay, okay. So,